Hey guys, today's video, how we make our pizza bases for a Friday night pizza. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Northie Farming in the Philippines. G'day. Well, today, today's video is brought to you by Williams Pizza Parlor. Have a look at that. So, Friday night, so that means Friday night's pizza night, guys. So if it's pizza night, a lot of people see me making the pizzas where I've already got the dough, it's all risen, it's all in the powdered balls, etc., etc. What's that? What are you doing? Bastard. Where it's all, um, it's all prepared, ready to slap it out. So people have been asking me, how do you make your pizza doughs from the start? So I'll show you, just for you guys, all right? But first, big shout out to Gary Allen and Doc. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Gary Allen and Doc and their channel. I'm going to put at the end screen up here for you at the end of this video. Back to the pizza. Right. So I write it down and I keep it up on my refrigerator up here. And it's a very simple one. Now, the flour is pizza flour. This is from Andres Martin in Germany. So we had a large bag, then we've had some small bags, and this is a medium bag. And uh, I tell you, every Friday night we go through our pizza, guys. So this is the pizza. So it's the first time I've used this one because I've had all these smaller bags to use up. Now I've used that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out what I need in here, and then I'm going to put all this into airtight bags, vacuum packed bags, and stick it back into the freezer. Because I keep all my flour in the freezer, otherwise get all those little black fucking critters running around. You know what I mean? Right, so what's in it? Here it is. So, as always, so as when you make bacon, guys, get yourself a really good set of scales. They're only cheap, they're online. This is between one and one and 2,000. I say, say one gram, one mil, up to 2,000. So it's actually quite good. So the reason I'll say that is a lot of scales are not that micro down, especially when you're using spices and uh, using cures where it will say 3.1 grams, you know, shit like that. So um, you've got to get it dead spot on. So get yourself a set of scales. And remember, weigh everything. Everything's got to be weighed because it's not like, you know, like mum's cooking, like mum, fuck my dog. God bless you, mum, may you rest in peace. She, she used to do some amazing cooking, but she used to do some amazing, well, not every Leonardo da Vinci's went for millions and millions of dollars as well. But um, instead of um, weighing something, she would just, you know, wing it. And that's what it ends up doing, you fucking wing it, it's a lot. But don't, weigh it all, guys. Weigh it dead to the point. Right, so inside here, inside the mixing bowl of God. 480 grams of these beautiful flour from Andreas Martin in Germany. Andreas Martin, g'day. Okay, so I've got 480 grams of flour in here. I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. I'll put all that in and let it mix around. Quite easy. Right, this is the yeast mixture. Okay, with your yeast. I used to have the little seven gram packets. The yellow and it's called super crusty pizza crust pizza pizza yeast but i've run out i used the last of it up last week so last week was a big fucking use up bastard 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 right so but doing seven gram packets so if you measure out seven grams you can't go wrong so 225 grams of water but it's got to be at 110 right no higher than 110 degrees okay 110 Fahrenheit, of course. So if you make it at 110, so I normally make mine, I'll ball, put the thermometer in the kettle, get it up to around 115. I'll pour it into the, on the scales into a bowl. I'll then get the right amount. Then I'll add the sugar. Now the sugar, let me have a look at my paperwork. Uh, uh, 225 grams of water at 110 and sugar is one teaspoon. One teaspoon, dissolve the sugar down at a higher temperature. Then when it drops down to 110, you just sprinkle your yeast on and give it a, uh, give it a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And look at that, it rises perfect. This within minutes, absolute minutes, this rises. So because it's all measured out, we don't have an issue with this. Give it a swirl round and it won't stick to the bowl. Look at that. Now straight in, voila. Look at that. Piece a piece, guys. 
piece of piss. Now, if William can do this, then you guys can do this, all right? It's not hard. Right, now, it's gonna incorporate itself. Add a little bit of olive oil. Use the virgin oil, everyone loves a good virgin oil. And uh, put that in a nice little drop and just let it go. And just leave it and it will come together, okay? There we go, look at that. So it all comes together quite nicely, guys. So what I normally do is just to let it knead, like they say, knead it for 10 minutes. I remember when I made bread, my mum said, did you need it? It was very hard. She said, did you need it, son? Son, did you need it? I said, of course I needed it. I wouldn't have made it if I didn't need it, mum. She says, no, I said, oh, just fucking with you, mum. Right, so that's coming all together nicely now. So what I'll do is just let that go till it's ready, and then I'll cover it and just leave it for half a day. And the temperature we have here in the Philippines, it will rise quite dramatically. And then I'll just break it in half, put it into two separate bowls, and that will be ready for later on tonight. But this is the first stage here. Right guys, so here we go. We've turned it out, it's nice and elastic -y. Absolutely lovely. So, a little bit of oil again, don't forget. Nothing like a good bit of a virgin. Olive oil in there. Spread it around. They always oil it, otherwise it'll stick to the sides like anything. And what I do with the leftover oil that's on the side, I just give it a pattern on top. Okay, done. Cover it in plastic, and we'll see how that rises. Right guys, so while we're waiting, it is now 10 o'clock, 10.30, so it's time for coffee. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. How are you today, I? Good. So look at this. So Stu, when he come here, he bought me some um, homemade scones. So we got out the strawberry jam. Look at that. Fresh butter, scones, coffee. And me. <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. Right, so it's the first time the girls have had scones. I didn't whip up any cream, so um, it's just straight pure butter and strawberry. So what do you think, hun? This yum. is called British scones. Yum, so yummy. Different from the... have this every day, like every morning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. I... Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yummy. You like? It's called scones. Mm. These are British scones, not all those fucking Americans where they have scones and gravy for breakfast. I had that when I was over at Houston. You can keep that, I tell you. You can keep that. But um, British scones, absolutely gorgeous. Yummy eye. Check. Thank you too. Stu, building, <laughs> building our dreams vlog. So Stu, when you get that bloody, the, um, what is it, the mud bag, dirt bag? Earth bag. Earth bag. We need that earth big house done. We want to come. Scones. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it is now half past one. So look how much this has risen. Lovely. So this is the first rise, is this one here. This is the first rise. So what I'll do now is I'll break it down into two parts and um, that will then go back out again for tonight. And each one will be for a pizza, single pizza. So this will make two large pizzas. Right, let's get this one out with the flour. So the bowls, bowls are already olive oiled down. So, uh, and this one will come out now. Look at that. Oh, oh who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Oh, look at that. Lovely. Right guys, so there you have it, all done. So this is separated into two balls. This will rise out beautifully now inside here. And uh, tonight all I have to do is just give it a poke down and uh, put the toppings on. Right, so this is how much they've risen up. Have a look at that, quite nice. So got some butter here with some Parmesan cheese and some garlic that's gonna go into garlic bread. But this is our baby that we're working on today. Oh, oh that baby doll. So fingers in, yeah. oh look at that, look at that. So I like to put a bit of flour on mine. So all of these is a matter of pushing it out. And you have your <laughs> pizza base. Mm. 
There we go. Look at that. Use your fingers, push it out, leave a rim around the side, and just keep doing that. And you can flip it and flap it, and get him bigger. And that's how it works. I used to use a rolling pin, but now I don't use rolling pins anymore because it takes all the air out and it makes them too hard. So I found it's easier. Some people use the bench and they use the weight. Let me do it your side, darling. Some use the bench and they use the weight of the pizza to actually extend it longer. Doesn't matter which way you go, it still works the same. Okay, and we end up with one pizza base. Look at that. Look at that. No, I can't throw it up in the air, guys. It doesn't work for me, that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Right. Right here. -o. So here we go. Finished product. Finished product. Look at that. So how do I cook them? You've seen it on the videos before. I have a pizza stone in here, voila. Oven, I see I can, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching us today. Please share, subscribe, and like. And remember, pizzas are for everyone on a Friday night on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines. Catch you later guys, bye bye.